Alright, hey everybody. Welcome back to Outlast. Episode number four. We're doing all notes and documents for the PlayStation 4. Uh, we're doing a walkthrough slash playthrough kind of thing. So your first note will be, we're in the mail ward by the way. We just got out of the sewers and so now we're in, heading into the mail ward. So after you move those propane tanks and you head through this little duct, you're going to open this door and you're going to go to the left. And there will be another door that you open and the writing on the wall right here it says fingers first, then balls, then tongue. <laughs> if you don't, if you haven't played the game already, then you don't get the reference. But the reference is when you f meet Dr. Traeger, he's going to cut off your fingers. Okay, so that's fingers first. That that makes reference to that. But then, on the way to get your fingers cut off, you see somebody who's screaming, and Dr. Traeger says, "Don't worry, you never, you didn't use that tongue anyways." So, suggesting that he cut off his tongue, obviously. And since tongue is on is last on the list, and in between that is balls. You just, it's just safe to assume that Dr. Traeger cut off that patient's balls, which is pretty disgusting. And that's what he's planning to do to you, but you get out on time. But anyways, uh, back to the gameplay. At the end of, when you get in this little hospital room thing, at the end, the last curtain is going to be past the last curtain to your right. And that's going to be document, uh, that's going to be your next document. <clears throat> now you see that, that vent that's open, that's where we're going to be going. I had a little bit of a hard time getting in there. Um, and by the way, guys, this is a post commentary for this episode. And that's because I got a little upset at some point, and I will tell you why. But I got a little upset, and I deleted it, and I, th I was going to redo this whole section, but I ended up not redoing this whole section, recording it. But, anyways, now we're going to be into a chase scene. And I, I forgot a little bit where to go and kind of wasted a little bit of time trying to open that door, but... As long as you keep running and you don't stop, you shouldn't have to close any doors behind you until the last door. And you'll see I'll close the last door and it still comes out pretty close. But it's always going to get pretty close. You're never going to get hit if you do what I do, though. And right here I have a really hard time. I really forgot where to go and I fucked up here. I end up dying. Yep, see that? It's not a big deal, I'm just gonna restart the chase scene. Remember to move these and don't bother closing any doors because they're just going to be coming from different doors anyways. And it's not going to do anything to slow them down, really. Now you're going to open that. I don't know why I went that side of the, the patient, but whatever. It still worked, so. So now I, now I know where to go, so I'm going to jump this properly. And now there's a big jump coming by. This on Insane playthrough is ridiculous, but I screwed up here. And I would be really mad if this was my Insane playthrough and I screwed up here, but I didn't on my, on my other playthrough. But here I did. But good thing is, good news, you start on the other side of the jump. Now you don't have to do that jump again if you do screw up. So now we're getting to the last door you have to go into. Once you pass this, see I tried this door because it had been a long time since I played. So now we're going to be coming up to the last door that we're going to go into. Right at the end of this hallway, to the left. This door you want to close because now you have to get in a dumbbell, dumb waiter, sorry. And they won't hit you if you close that door, which is good, but now... Now we're gonna meet Dr. Traeger. Hey. 
you that bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? <sighs> His witness or whatever. You must be exhausted. Huh? Let's take a break, huh, buddy? You old two martini lunch? Hmm? Have a little cone file. Failure than you look. A little car you wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go, arms and legs inside the car at all times. <laughs> now, Dr. Trager is not that hard to get away from. I'll show you how I get away from him. And you should probably use that too. It's, it's really effective and it's almost impossible for him to find you. you know, I love the mountain air up here at night. You, you want to head out? You take a stroll? Hey, go ahead, I'll wait here. Come I just got to say that his eyepiece is really <laughs> cool looking worry. actually. No? Alright. Nose to the grindstone, I like that. Okay then. And also there's a patient that says that um, there's an experiment done on Dr. Trager and that's why he is the way he is. He's a superhuman kind of kind of thing. And uh, well you'll see, we'll have to record it saying that. So it'll be our next note actually. So now we're going to be coming up to that patient where I said that his tongue got cut off. So yeah, we could assume that his balls are gone. So that's what Dr. Trager wrote on the wall. Or maybe not Dr. Oh, you see? Good, but not found any use anyway. Because he told I was just trying to look at my own stance. Here we are then. Uh, thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. We'll just get a second to wash up and, uh, oh, no movies. And it'll give us a chance to talk. I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible-thumping. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. But it's understandable. Maybe people get scared. They just like to turn to God as anything else. And God died with the gold spoon. We're on to a more concrete thing now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. To make you believe. You paying attention? Don't pass that on me. There's so much you to enjoy. There. You're better now, right? Give us an here. We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself. So now we're finally back to where we get to play again. So we shackle our way out, or we get our way out of the shackle, and we're <laughs> puking on the ground. I gotta say, that's like the best puking animation I've ever seen. It's pretty funny, actually. But anyways, now, <laughs> I take a look at these little, these little ants or whatever. I got really curious because they looked kind of funny, so I zoomed in on them, and they like little striped. They look like little hornets or something. And their animation, it's like, it's hilarious. They're just like little bugs that fold and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I was just a little. I was a little amazed by how funny it was.
Now, now you should listen to this patient. Alright, so that was the next note. You just had to record him talking and Traeger killing him. Uh, uh, really? Now Traeger realizes that you're gone. You're gonna walk on me. What I should have did. Come on! What I should have did was when Traeger leaves, you should follow him and then just leave. As soon as he turns to go check where you were. Should just leave. So finally, I just say screw it. I'm just gonna run right past him. He gets a hit on me. Not that big of a deal. Not on this difficulty. Even on insane mode, he could handle. You can handle one hit. I finally get into the vent, and that gets rid of him for this little moment right here. So you finally get the drop down. This is the next section. Make sure open this up right now. See, I was just checking around where Traeger was. This little push buggy. You're just gonna push this out of the way of the door and you're gonna open the door right away and it's gonna really help you later on to not get killed. So now you're gonna head down the hallway and you're gonna take your first door on your left. So I just went and took a look right now in that bathroom. And I realized that there was nothing. So you just keep, you just go into the next room at the end of the hallway. And now there's gonna be this guy strapped to the bed. This, you, you wanna agitate him. So stand beside him and it'll agitate him. Run behind, I know you can't see very well, okay, but run behind into the corner right here. And Dr. Traeger will come to silence him. As you can see, he's going to be walking on screen any moment. Use this time to sneak out right where he was. Now I'm going to run right here, and it kind of catches attention as soon as I start pushing this. That's okay. You gave yourself enough time that you could open this door, run to the end of the hallway. Now there's another vent. Okay, so you just head head for the vent, jump in the vent, and Dr. Traeger will be long con. This even works on an insane playthrough. Um, I have beaten this part on insane. It's a lot trickier, a lot harder. You have to be a lot s faster and smarter, but it works on any difficulty. And now we're going to drop by, and this is where our next document is. As soon as you drop out of that second, uh, that second little duck, scene, you're going to drop and there's going to be a washroom and you're going to walk in first all on your right and that's going to be where the document's going to be on a little on a little uh, tray. Anyway, so now you make sure to open the door on the right right here. Now we're going to be doing the same, we're going to be pulling the same move as we just did with Dr. Traeger. He's going to fall for it again. He just doesn't learn. So we're going to take the key, we're going to run into that room, and we're going to hide behind the door as quickly as we could. And he doesn't even see you go. He's busy trying to break that door down, and you just bought the, uh, I'm sorry, took the key from. He's going to walk in this room, he's going to be a little mad, but he's not going to see you. So this time you just get up, and you don't even care if he sees you right now. You just get up and you run. 
I don't even think he does see me. No, he doesn't see me this time, but sometimes he does, most of the time. So you take a left on the hallway, and this is where, because most of the time he would see you, so that's where you push open that, uh, you would you would have to be pushing open that, that buggy, and you'd be caught, and he would kill you. But anyways, um, Dr. Trager is going to be on, this, on the other floor now. He's going to try and get you. You want to record his dead body. Once it's done, once his, this whole scene is done, you're gonna to want to record his dead body. And I believe that's the last, last you'll ever see of Dr. Traeger. So this is the time you just whip out your camera, take a quick recording of him, and that's your next note. Okay, so now there's a latch on the on the ceiling. I'm sorry, of the elevator. You're gonna take that latch. And you get out, and you're gonna crawl out right behind Dr. Traeger, where he was. I just turn around and felt him up a little bit because I was a little lonely in that asylum. Hadn't had some action in a while, so I felt him up. I'm not sure if he liked it, but probably. He seemed to be wanting it with all his clothes off and everything. But, anyways, now we're just gonna head down some, a set of stairs. And there is a battery behind the staircase. You have to jump over this little obstacle, and it'll be on the ground behind that box. So now we're going to make our way through this little opening, a little office place, but you're just going to head straight through all of this. And now you're going to be meeting Father Martin again. He's gonna be at the end here with his flashlight and everything. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. So our next document is gonna be through this little hallway to the left. We're gonna take a right right here. And then we're gonna take the door to the right. It's the only door you can take. But anyways, you're going to head into this little locker room, and there's a dead security guard on the ground. Right behind him, like if you continue, there will be a document on the ground in the little dark area. Okay, so that's uh, nearly... No, I wouldn't say that. So, I'm just going to head out of this area. Now we're finally into the burning cafeteria. finally find myself another battery but I had 10 so make sure that if you have already 10 batteries fully stocked and 11th one in in your camera just change out your one in your camera you might as well you might as well just make sure that you got full batteries so now we're in there and now we're in the cafeteria and we're gonna take the note um, well their next note is gonna be this guy sitting on the table we have to video uh, tape him. He is the last recording for you to have 15 notes and 15 documents. You see, I got the note now, but <laughs> I never popped my trophy in a little worried about this so I took a look at my my notes right here I was wondering why I didn't come out I counted them I have 14 notes it, it didn't make sense and then after a little bit of looking around I found out it was feast for flies the last record the last note of the last episode the one that we record right before heading up into mail ward at the beginning of this episode that one did not save when I saved my game. So my trophy never popped. And there was no way I was going to get the last trophy either. So. <laughs> I had to restart, restart the whole game from the beginning. 
get every single note, every single document. Then I finally got back to this area where I had I recorded him. I started my recording a little late. You didn't see the trophy pop, but I would promise you that guys that my trophy did pop. See guys, finally I got the trophy educated. Ah, kind of a pain in the butt. It's all right. It wasn't that bad. Big of a delay, so. Ah, why am I still recording? What am I recording anyways? Okay, so. We have to turn on the sprinkler system. Oh, and as you can see, I only have seven batteries instead of ten now. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It's right here. I like to miss things sometimes. There you are, Mr. Document. Um, anybody that didn't see, I turned right instead of going through the, the squeeze place, whatever. Alright, I'll show you a, a quick way to get through this. Oh, no, the way. I'll show you a quick way to get through this. Just run, run. He's not even going to see you. Just run, turn to the right, make sure you turn to the right. And go right away to that spell. Run right out of the room. And duck right here, because he's not going to check this way. He's not. He might not even come, actually, but he should. He should come. You know, you hear him coming. No worry, we're peeking out right now, so he's not going to see us. Or he might not even come. I think he's gone now. If not, we'll run right past him. I don't see him anywhere anymore. Is he behind us? Yes, he is. But it's okay, we got to his little squeeze spot, and he's not gonna see us. He's not gonna be able to get us in here. Now, you would think that this would be something. You'd think that this would be a note. But it's not. He's just giving this man a massage, well, or a bath, sorry, a kind of sponge bath thing. A little creepy. No, he's dead. Yep, that's not a note. You would think, though. Alright, now you don't have to worry about um, Chris Walker in this area. He's not going to get to you. Uh, but what we will do, you'll see. Uh, he's not going to be able to get to us. He could try. He's not going to. We're going to run right past him. We're gonna run right past the valve that we need to do. We're gonna run to this area. He's not gonna be able to get us. Where is he? Alright. He's not gonna be able to get us. Now we're just gonna we're just gonna walk around the corner. And we're just gonna chill out over here. Yeah, usually he's not right there, but whatever, it's alright. We could take one hit. So now we're good. We should be at least. To go turn the valve and just get the hell out of here. Or just press the button, I should say. Alright, so now we're good to get the hell out of here. Chris Walker is not going to be bothering us over here at all. And now we're, we will be coming up on the new note. And I believe that that'll be the end of the. Uh... Oh, it's dark in here now. It'll be the end of the episode. Uh, there will be a jump scare here. I don't know if that's the guy that uh, he was talking to us earlier, but anyways. Um, in the kitchen. Look around. There will be... 
think it's in the little room, actually. Yeah, it is, okay. A little bowl of fingers that you're gonna have to take a recording of. And a little pantry. I think there's a battery in here or something. Must be. Nope, there's a little... little pantry. Alright, now we're in the kitchen. We're gonna be going to the courtyard. Which is easy. Alright, so I'll just show you where there is a battery. And you wouldn't think that there is one. But you just jump where the elevator was. Two, a set of two batteries, actually. And it's really useful for when you're in the courtyard. Alright, so... This is where the courtyard is. Um, there's a document there that's going to be in the next episode. Alright, so thanks a lot guys. My name is Why I Shoot You. Don't forget to like, like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, comment down below what do you want me to do next. I usually do stuff with my buddy K9. I usually do split screen stuff, so let us know about that too. See ya.